Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a guide concerning this season's Umbral Engram system. You know those engrams that look like they're covered in darkness that you've been finding in the past few missions? Well, those things have some of the most powerful weapons in the game inside of them, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys not only how to get those weapons, but also what the best perks on those weapons are as well. Now, to get your hands on these weapons specifically, if you're a newer player, you you might have to jump through a few hoops first. First off, to unlock the Umbral Decoder and the Recaster, which you will need to focus and to decode these engrams, all you have to do is complete the seasonal quest for Season of Arrivals, which is found on IO and get your artifact. I believe you have to be around power level 800 and have IO unlocked to access this quest. If you are 800 and you still can't do it, then maybe back out and then back back into the game and it should automatically put you into it. Um, after you end up doing this quest, you then go to the drifter in the tower and then he's gonna have a contact public event quest for you to do after doing this this should unlock the decoder and the recaster and then you are able to decode and focus your engrams now do keep in mind that if you do want to focus your engrams you have to be a season pass owner since it is seasonal content and that can either be bought via silver or if you have shadow keep you get the season pass for free and i highly suggest going for the shadow keep dlc if you are able to now with that out of the way on how to actually unlock this stuff let's talk about how it works starting with the recaster so what the recaster does is it allows you to spend a currency called altered element which is acquired either through bounties or pretty much any activity in the game right now it allows you to spend altered element to focus your umbral engrams into giving you specific loot instead of it being completely random meaning that i can have an umbral engram that could give me 30 or 40 different items right but if i focus it down it would give me only one of two items, meaning that if I really want one of those two items, I'm going to have a 50% chance instead of having a very low percent chance without focusing it. Now, the recaster is going to have three rows of umbral engram focusing, and today we're going to be talking specifically about the second row, which is called improved arsenal focusing. Now, to unlock the second row, you just have to level up your recaster. This can be done with twisted energy, and you can get it from the weekly bounties that the recaster gives you, or you can just level up your season pass it's pretty simple uh after you level it up you're going to be given one skill point and after you fill out the first row and rank one it will then unlock the second row of focusing for you now don't worry if you're unable to immediately unlock the second row by the way the first row will give you the exact same loot but it's going to be not as focused down as the second row is so it's not going to be as specific but you can still get everything that i'm going to be talking about in today's video even if you don't have the second row unlocked just make sure that you inspect each one of these to make sure that it has what you're looking for in it before you decide to focus it. So now that we have all of that out of the way for the newer guys, let's go ahead and go over the best possible gear that you can get from these Umbral Engrams, starting with the rifle focused Engram. Now this is going to have an AR and a fusion rifle and you want to completely ignore the fusion rifle and take a look at the AR called False Promises. Now this isn't the best AR out there, but it's a high damage per shot AR that's pretty decent for PvE and it's something that I enjoy using I, I definitely wouldn't consider it meta but it's pretty fun um every single weapon in this game is going to have two main perks uh so for the first perk slot you want to go for something like feeding frenzy or overflow which will help you with your reload or give you more ammo in the magazine and for the second one you want to go with swashbuckler or rampage and those will help you out with increasing your damage and that's pretty much it for this specific engram moving on from that we have the edge focused engram now for the edge focused engram you are going to have a sword and you're going to have a bow and the sword specifically in this engram isn't really good at all compared to the other sword that's in another engram so we're just going to kind of move on from that and focus on the whispering slab which is the bow and it's a fantastic bow especially if you don't already have one it is a great great bow overall and i mean even if you have a lot of the raid ones as well it's still a really good legendary one to use you want to go for archer's tempo for the first main perk as this will allow you to pull back faster and you want to go for swashbuckler for the second one which will allow you to get even more damage 
Now, moving on from that, we have the arrival focused engram, and this is probably by far the best engram that you can get from the actual recaster. This is going to have the pulse rifle and the sword in it, cold denial and falling guillotine. Now, cold denial is an absolute beast of a pulse rifle for PvP. It will absolutely melt any enemy in your path. It does crazy damage. It can even be used in PvE, but I it's preferable that you would rather use it in PvP. It's just that's what the gun was pretty much made for. Uh, for your first perk slot, you want to go for Feeding Frenzy or Killing Wind, um, and then for the second one, you can go with Head Seeker, Swashbuckler, or Multi-Kill Clip. So, those are the perks that you really kind of want to focus on. Any of those should be good to go. Do keep in mind, by the way, it doesn't exactly have to be a god roll. You don't have to have the exact perks that I'm listing off, but these are ones that you definitely should be, you know, keeping your eye out for. And lastly, for this engram, we have the Falling Guillotine. Now, this is pretty much the best sword in the game. It is one of the best sources of DPS in the game. It is a fantastic PvE weapon for just melting bosses. Uh, for the specific roles that you want to go on this, uh, you either want to go for Honed or Jagged Edge for your first perk. Now, you'll see these whenever you inspect the weapon. You either want to go for Honed or Jagged Edge. Uh, then you want to go for Swordmaster's Guard, Relentless Strikes, and Whirlwind Blade. If you have all of that, you have a fantastic sword, but Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade are the most important for this weapon. Moving on from that, we have the Worthy Focused Engrams, and the only one of real notice here is going to be the 7th Seraph CQC Shotgun. Now, I really like this shotgun a lot. It's pretty decent for PvP. It's pretty okay in PvE. It's something that I use from time to time to kind of spice things up. Um, if you are, you know, trying to get a really good roll for this weapon, go for anything that can buff up your range. Uh, go for Quick Draw as your first main perk, and then Snapshot or Vorpal for your second main perk. Can be very, very strong against enemies in their super or just strong enemies in general. It's a fantastic weapon, PvE and PvP. Now, moving on from this, we have the Dawn Focused Engram. This actually has two weapons that are both really good. The first one is extremely fun. Like, I, I love this weapon. It's called Martyr's Retribution. This is a grenade launcher that is going to fire fire rounds that are going to spread out like fire in a line once you shoot it. So, you basically want to aim in front of your enemies instead of directly at them. So, if you shoot the ground, it'll explode and a line of fire will come out and deal damage to enemies in front of it. I absolutely love this weapon. It's super fun. Uh, you either want to go for auto loading as your first perk or field prep as your first perk and for the second one you want to go with demolitionist or lead from gold this will help you with more grenades overall and more ammo overall as well uh secondly or lastly for this engram we have the breach light which is the sidearm and this weapon was surprisingly good i actually didn't think it was really all that good at first but my friend loomis ended up opening my eyes and it's a pretty good weapon for pve i really enjoyed it um if you're going for good rolls on this the first perk either demolitionist or outlaw and the second perk rampage or multi-kill clip this will help you with your reload your damage it's a pretty freaking awesome sidearm Moving on from this, we have the Undying Focused Engram, and these weapons are garbage. Uh, don't grab these whatsoever. You do not want these. Uh, they're just not going to be good for you at all. Uh, moving on from that, we have the Contrast Focused. Now, this is going to have a rocket launcher and a sidearm in it. They're pretty decent weapons, but I wouldn't focus this Engram because for me personally, I have gotten these weapons so often without even trying to focus. I just get them from regular world drops. Um, you know, the sidearm, you want to go for out law rampage the rocket launcher cluster bombs um they're pretty decent weapons but yeah I, I wouldn't really waste your materials on focusing for this one specifically uh, moving on from that we have the lead or the lead focused engram and this is going to have two amazing weapons the first of which is one of the best pvp auto rifles in the game and a surprisingly really 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 good pve one as well i did not expect this weapon to be so good in pve but it was so if you're looking for an auto rifle for both crucible and for regular you know modes gnawing hunger is what you want it's fantastic so for the first you know slot you want to go with zen moment for your stability um or overflow or tap the trigger anything to kind of help out with this weapon um you know whenever it comes to ammo or stability or anything and then the last perk that you want to go for it really doesn't matter all of the last perks are fantastic they're really good i believe mine has multi kill clip on it though and that one really helps out with damage now the other one which is night watch this is the scout rifle that comes in this engram although scouts aren't really good in destiny 
me to right now. This one really shines with its amount of damage output on top of its fire rate and reload. It's really good and anytime I need to do bounties, I end up using it. Uh, go for Outlaw Rampage. Get that reload speed, get that damage in there. This thing's a freaking beast and it's probably the only scout that I would ever use in Destiny. Moving on from this, we have the Assassin Focused Ingram. Now, this Ingram ends up getting unlocked or at least the weapons for it end up getting unlocked by doing a seasonal quest for Zavala, I believe. It ended up being unlocked around the Ruinous Effigy quest. Um, so, you know, just progress the game. Make sure that Zavala doesn't have anything for you concerning the contact public events or, you know, doing weekly bounties on some other planets and stuff. Uh, but once you do end up doing that, uh, the Assassin Focus has the Ikelos SR, which is Sniper Rifle. And this thing is a fantastic boss damaging weapon. It has really good perks that you can get on it for really good sustained DPS. Whenever it comes to the perks, you pretty much want to go for any magazine that's going to increase your magazine size. And then the main perks are going to be fourth time the charm and high impact reserves. Fourth times the charm will basically allow you to feed bullets back into your clip to allow you to keep dealing damage to a boss as long as you're hitting their crit spot. And high impact reserves is going to allow you to deal more damage, you know, towards the bottom of your clip. Really, really, really good synergy. This sniper is absolutely amazing. You really want to make sure that you pick this up for PvE. Now we have the CQC focused as well, and this is going to have two really good weapons in it, and this is going to be the last of the engrams. This one is unlocked the exact same way as the assassin one as well. Uh, you have the first in last out shotgun, a really nasty slug shotgun that's really great for PvP and PvE as well. You can practically headshot snipe people in PvP. It's really good fighting against other players, and in PvE, it's really good for high health bar targets when you get up close as well. Just make sure to hit your headshots. Uh, the perks that you want to go with is hip fire grip or outlaw and surrounded demolitionist or vorpal. Those are some really strong perks on the shotgun and I really like it a lot but if you don't like slugs and you don't like being very precise you might want to stick away from this one. And lastly we have the Ikelos SMG which in my opinion is one of the best SMGs that I think I've ever used in PvE. Uh, the only problem I have with it is that it does really great damage and it's really good overall but I feel like I run out of ammo a little too quickly when using this weapon. However, when you do get this weapon, which I highly suggest you grind for it, you want to go for Seraph Rounds, Dynamic Sway, or Threat Detector, and Demolitionist, or Surrounded. So you want to be able to get that really good stability in there. You want to get that extra damage, you know, maybe grenade recharge or anything like that. But it's a, it's a mean SMG. It's one of the best that I've ever used, and I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, it's a really good weapon and a perfect way to end off this video whenever it comes to the Umbral Engram weapons. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much every single weapon that you can get from the Umbral Engrams and pretty much the best roles that you can get on them as well. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, these are some of the most powerful weapons that are in the game right now, and they are extremely good. I mean, it's it's in the definition of powerful weapon. They're just extremely good. I really like them. So definitely keep your eyes out for any of these. Like I said, if you don't have the second row unlocked as of yet with your recaster, you of course can use the basic focusing. It'll just maybe take you a little bit longer to get the specific one that you want. Uh, but over time, you know, you should be leveling up your recaster while you play anyways, and you should be good to go to get a lot of these weapons. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have any questions, let me know as well, and I'll make sure to go to the comments and answer them and help you guys out. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I should have another video out tomorrow for you all, which is a pretty spicy guide, so definitely stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time.